Hello? Uh, I would say come in, but you're probably gonna cut my neck off. So I'm gonna challenge you guys. Can we get this episode to 50k likes? You know, on that last episode when I asked for 50,000 likes, I did not think I would hit that thing for at least three to four days. Yeah, we hit it in less than 20 hours. You guys have proved your immense support, and so today, I'm gonna prove my dedication. Scrutinized, you're going down. This game can play the same song every time, but that level of fear now, it's gone completely. Hit me with the drop. I ain't scared of this man. That stare right there is fake as freak. And I'm gonna prove it to you guys. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome back to the final episode of Scrutinized, at least on the casual difficulty. I will not upload this video until I've beaten Night 5. So if you guys are watching this now, hey, I went ahead and beat this game. We have done several videos on this game. I've done the same intro explaining this. There's like only so much more I can say. You guys know the strats I'm implementing by this point for this game. And if you don't, you better go ahead and check back, because I explain thoroughly every time. Now, I'm just a little bit curious as well. Would you guys like to see a normal playthrough where maybe in the next episode I start at one of the later nights so we can potentially progress through straight to the ending? I don't know. If you guys might want that, how about we go for that 50k likes again? Night 5. I should get to my computer and get the night started. Mm-hmm. And that might be the last time we ever hear that quote, guys. We start by doing the same thing always. Locking the windows, checking these lights are on. And we keep the night moving. You notice the hat's back as well, guys? I saw in the last episode, I wasn't wearing it. And I said to you guys, if the hat is not on my head, we are not in win mode. So right now, you know I'm serious. I wasn't even going to post this game today, guys. Like, I've been so burnt out from playing this so much. But your guys' support has just kept me so motivated to continue with this series. I was seriously debating just leaving this game where it was after the second episode. Because I was getting no closer to figuring out how this thing works. But look at where we've came, man. A little bit of strength and a little bit of determination. And we're in the end game. It's like, Keep saying. I'm legit concerned for this night though. With it being night five, I got a suspicion things might get a little bit more complicated than usual. And whilst I was actually doing my rounds at the house just then, I did notice a small stutter. So let me just double check these rooms and make sure all the lights are on. Yep. And yep. Okay, we're all good. So the last thing to do is to get seated on the computer and we begin for the last time. Hopefully. Oh, we start. Yeah. Bro, need you're to on that email and you're on night five. Emails. You know what you're doing. Stop playing right now, Luna. So let's get straight to business, guys. We start with the upgrades. Let's get quite a few of these instant root kits. We've got 12 documents to get through, so that's quite a lot. And so let's get this started, guys. The first one, Emma Pearson. This little girl from the neighborhood is driving me crazy. When she's not begging for money with her friends, she smokes in front of my yard and leaves her butts in front of my yard. And then these weird people she hangs out with. It's no wonder that more and more kids around here are taking drugs. So Emma Pearson's our first person. Let's go female, and then we'll just simply put put the two things that we need here. So eye color and hair. And it seems to filter them out quickly. I almost feel like using the top three, it takes the longest because we can do it that way. We find Emma Pearson and then we just get going. Uh, wait, where the freak is she? I can't see it. There she is, so we'll open that. Throw that in there. Let me just double check the cameras again. Tana, how are you feeling tonight, bud? You been down in the Red Bull? Probably so. All right, let's get this going anyway, guys. So we'll get the root key. You already know how we do things here. Paste that in. Let's get it, man. We already know we can find some suspect stuff here. There we go, and we'll crack a phone, which we've got. Uh, there we go, thank you. Check cams again. Oh, he's not showing himself, guys. Um, This is kind of suspect. I always want to kind of see him to get the night started, but if he doesn't want to show his face tonight, that works for me. You can go ahead and take the night off, Tanner. How about you rest up and keep yourself... Ooh. You know who isn't taking the night off, though, guys? Hello. That window picker. Let's see. That is still locked up, so nothing to worry about there. Slight false alarm. It's good that we went back and checked, though. So it's history. I'm going to shout as an area. Um, okay. So maybe she's appearing on like doorsteps and like hanging around with people because she might be homeless. See pictures. She's smoking. Uh, we got some tech stuff here. Jack, out together again tonight. Made tea for the homeless, of course. I hope your neighborhood doesn't bug you again. You know, I'm going to shred this document. So Emma Pearson, let's shred. Let's see. All right. She was a shred. So we'll remember that next time. I think another thing I'm going to make sure I do is each time I shred a paper, we check around the entirety of the house. I'm going to have to do this 12 times in total, but it keeps us secure at least from the dude trying to break in. And I'm not referring to Tanner when I say that. You know, Baldy? Yeah. Right, 
got report number two. Alexander Dostoevsky. Why can't he just have an easier name? I'm a police officer. Yesterday I got a tip about this guy, Alexander, saying he's involved in some organized crime ring. Uh, how he's involved, I have no clue. The call ended before I could ask any questions. The problem I have is there's no chance in hell I'll be able to follow up with it. Currently, the department's focused on where the stats are right now, and that means there's no resources for an investigation like this in the budget. Knowing that our station can't follow it up, and our tip is next to nothing. Oh, guys, camera time. Woo! All right, we're good. Knowing that our station can't follow up and the tip is next to nothing, so no other station would want to whack it. I'm passing it over to y'all. It doesn't matter how you find the investigation on this guy. If you can find something that gives us a time and a place where we can catch him in the act of the crime, where we get the tip doesn't matter. More than likely, the court will find the evidence you share with us as inadmissible, but anything illegal we find in his possession will put him behind bars and off the street. Just check to my side real quick, guys. Anyone come in? Because I sure hope not. See, now she walks around with a flashlight. Yeah, that's better, Luna. Now I see you're thinking straight. This is what we should have whilst we walk around our house, guys, okay? Put it away, get back to the computer. <laughs> back to the papers. We don't even acknowledge that, guys, or the fact that I fired again, because I always do. <laughs> so for this filter, we gotta cancel out everything. Um, we just do a search on mail specifically. Let's see if we can find him. This might require a bit of digging. There we go, we found his name because the string is real long, so it's quite easy to spot that, actually, guys. Let's get his sim DB. We'll do a root kit on this guy real quick. We'll try and find out some more about this dude. So, it's gonna pop up. I'm gonna insta-crack this to be safe. How to clean blood. Russian dolls! Weather report, filterless versus filtered cigarettes. Um, so that's first of all gonna be suspect, so that goes there. Look at the pictures. Mm, I don't know if they're suspect entirely. Deputy Johnson, your boys are clean to move in. The boat with 32 written on it. Thank you, my friend. It's just the... Yeah, that's also our next set of evidence, guys. Boat with 32. Uh, I don't see any numbers on that one, so let's check the next. Maybe those boats, though, could be the thing. It's talking about boats, right? Let me throw these in here, guys. We're just gonna straight up submit this one. Let's see. Is it gonna go through? That went through okay. So it was to do with the boats and the transportation, I suppose. Okay, no Tanner. Uh, I'm gonna check around the house, though. He's still not slipping in either. My man's taking it easy, but the other guy is, he's got my electrics outside. Yeah, keep trying, bud. Ooh, this room too is in the dark. I do not like that. That light, let me see. My window's still locked up. It is, so he didn't get to pick in it, but the lights were switched off. Ugh, damn it. I just- the Internet went out again. You're kidding me. I'm gonna check for Tana before I do anything, guys. Yeah, 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 keep chatting ahead. Check for Tana. Looks like he's still holding back after the last scare, so we're good in that department. Let's get this internet on and we'll get through case three as soon as we can. We need more shreds though. All right, our next case is an unknown at around 11 p.m. I went to get something from my car. Now, usually that alone is enough information when you're checking on these like help sheets to know if this is a good case or a bad one. And we've got to do digging, that's fantastic. Um, it could be any of these. So the height is six foot. So it has to be Rosita Ryman, right? She's the tallest out of all of them. So we'll put her in. Let's do a quick search on this. All right, can you guys keep it down? I'm busy cracking cases. Bro, I tried to uh, crack her case and then I left my computer, didn't I? We're gonna shred it and hope for the best. Please don't be a false one. I think that might have just cost us the game, guys. We're gonna work with it though. Who knows? I got through night four without a single mistake, so we could still pull this one back, I really hope. Let's just be positive here. Okay, so Rachel Green is a Insta Shred, so that's a uh, third of the way through, which is quite good. Albert Ewing, what's that second name though? I'm his neighbor. I knocked on his door early this morning because I heard sounds of screaming and fighting. When he answered it, he was sweaty and red, and it looked like there was a scratch on his neck and he was trying to hide it from me. I asked him if everything was okay or if I should call the police. He interrupted me there and said, everything is perfectly fine and there was nothing to worry about. I tried asking what all of the screaming was from, and he he just said it was private and nothing he needed to share with me. Finger crossed that this is just a one-time thing and I'm not stuck next to some psycho couple for the rest of my time in this neighborhood. I think he's single now, bud. Yeah, this man's gonna get investigated, guys. That's definitely suspect. I thought I was about to get investigated. <laughs> Hello? Uh... I would say come in, but you're probably gonna cut my neck off. Legit, one of the killers just politely knocked on my window. I've never encountered that one before. It sounded really close by too. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> hey, I respect a killer with manners, guys. That's all I'm saying. 
Um, Tanner's definitely preoccupied tonight. He's not showing up unless he's already in. So let's try and find this guy. Albert Ewing, we'll throw him in there. It gives us the information we need. And I think the information will be on his phone if anywhere. I got a suspicion he's probably Googled like how to, I don't know, help myself out in this relationship, something like that. Okay, there's his phone. So search history, how to clear criminal record, anger management, how to hit without bruising. That's evidence. And he's also got a criminal record now that we know. That's jacked up. So that's going straight in there. Text converts with Reyna. Hey, sweetheart, wondering when you're going to be home today. Hmm. Yeah, he's abusive, so that goes in there too. And I think his police record is going to be number four in the list of things we need. Guys, I think Tanner slipped in, by the way. I really do. Yeah, there's the police record. So we're going to throw that in there. Let's just uh, approve this one for now. Let's see if we're right. We're definitely right. So we know about him for future, but I think that's the last case I'm ever going to do in my life, guys. Wait, Tanner's there. Hey, bro, back this up. This damn power breaker. I need to flip the breaker in the file room closet. <laughs> I don't understand how you deflect against Tanner in that situation. In the dark? Well, this is awkward. How did he see me? Bro, he killed me in the dark? <laughs> what? My man's got night vision. That was a respectful first attempt, though. I got halfway there to solving this thing. Okay, guys, welcome back. Now, we're on the fifth page already. I got four shreds straight in a row. Now, this is a case I've never seen before. I met this guy, never told me his last name or his full name uh, at the club last night. My friends and I decided to go get some drinks at the bar after half an hour or so of dancing, and that's when I ran into him. He was friendly to all of us, but it seemed like he got bored pretty quickly since we weren't paying him much mind. Still, I was interested, so I was kind of just eyeballing him uh, the whole night, hoping to get his attention. Eventually, I found this one girl and kind of just smoothed her all night. I was kind of hoping he'd get rid of her, but no dice. My friends and I had it out just as they did, so I watched as the two turned the corner, and then all I hear is screaming coming from the direction. Of course, there was still quite a line outside the club, so it was loud, and no one was paying attention. I know what I heard. I broke off from the group to see what happened. When I got there, all I saw was a shoe, one of the heels the girl was wearing, but two were nowhere to be seen. Maybe I'm paranoid, but I've heard the stories about girls disappearing at nightclubs. This could be a case. So... I got him! Ooh, that was close! So, that's an interesting case then. My guess then is that we have to focus uh, more so towards uh, maybe nightclub stuff or text because that's, I think, where we're going to find this information. I heard a light go off. Yeah, I heard that go off right there. The small dink, that's the uh, sound effect cue. So, I've gotten Tana. I'll check around the whole house to be extra safe. And I'm going to check cameras immediately after again. You know, this girl should just install a flashlight on her camera. The, you know the one she's holding, guys? Like, this is a permanent solution. It's all you need on at all times. And Tana would never bother you. But, again, intelligence is low. <laughs> I literally just got rid of him. You and York, get the freak in there. We're getting you under control. You're done. Yuba, Yuba, club's near me. So we've definitely got the right guy. Uh, pictures, maybe that will help. I've already seen a suspect one. I don't even need to see that in full. Apparently, guys, all texts are guilty. I don't even need to spend the time to read because the picture really did enough to confirm for me. You are paged and you will be checked out thoroughly by the investigative people. So that's one job done right there. Jacob Lesping, he's an Insta Shred. So we're halfway through now, guys. That's 50% through. Good progression. We got back here nice and quick. Let's check around the house again. I'm going to do that in between each case, as I said before. And then I always check the cameras the moment I get my butt parked back at my computer. And we just go from there. Next case, Jennifer Connolly. This one woman from the neighborhood has been following me for a few weeks. At first, I thought it was just my imagination and that was all coincidental. But she's always shopping when I'm there or walking her dog while jogging. The day before yesterday, I met her outside my school and asked her what she was up to. She told me she wanted to pick up her son from school and I know better. She only has one son and he's 13 years old or he's too young for a high school. I don't like the feeling that I'm always being watched by this lady wherever I go. Yeah, suspect is freak, so we'll check through her in just a second. All right, I'm gonna check the house, guys. I feel like my light's off somewhere. All right, there's Jennifer Connolly. As always, we start with the uh, sim search and we get the information we need from there. Yes! Woo! Get out of here, Tanner! <laughs> search history, signs that my husband is cheating. Private Oh. That's interesting. She might be following if this is... No, this can't be her husband because he's acting like he doesn't know her. All right, text convos. Uh, brought some food. Calm down. The food got dinner right. I have no idea what you're talking about. Where are you? She seems super controlling. That's what I'm getting from this. Do you know Hannah? She's your age from the neighborhood. Yes, I do. Tell me about her. Um... Yeah, this guy's right to be suspect. This lady seems a little bit obsessed with uh, trying to control people and know everything. Ooh, yeah. I thought I heard... Two lights went out. Ooh, two lights too many, guys. We check the windows here. All right, these two can go in. What else can we really use against her? Signs that my husband, mobile phone tracking, uh, that suspect, and also gun shops in the area. It's like she's going to assassinate the dude. Please be right. I feel like that's somewhat correct. Nope. 
Ah, uh, I was suspect about that one. It didn't feel right, guys. Crap. We did not need to do that. We couldn't afford that, really. We've got one more mistake and five cases to solve. So it could work out. We just need a lot of shreds and not too much investigation. Because, yeah, I'm going to mess up. See, an unknown. I was going out for my daily walk. I'm just for a car with hazards on. Apparently, this one's a shred. So we can discard that one. We'll check the cameras. Okay, no Tanner, no Tanner. So we're two thirds through. Next one, Matt Walker. We had a family dinner in the backyard tonight and Matt came outside to relieve some steam, I think. He saw us in our yard before anything happened, but when he went into his garage, I could hear him tearing the place apart. An average person would have contained themselves in front of others, but instead he unloaded the anger a few feet away. It wasn't right. That's all we get to go on on this guy. Sounds like you should have called your kid Matt Angie, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, well, we caught you, so the joke's on you, sucker. There's Matt Walker. Always take the sim. This is where we're going to find all the weird evidence. What? Uh, yep, yeah, let's see. <laughs> and oil barrows, bruh. Yeah, he was texting his boss some weird crap too, guys. You get a page, Matt. You're in trouble, bud. We're coming for you. <sighs> Damn it. Man. The internet went out again. That's fine. I need to go Tons reset the router there. in the back room closet. Just get it done. Don't get jump scared. You've literally got three pages, and I guarantee they're probably going to be all shreds. I've actually just thought, if I page through two more, and the last one, I could basically page it through wrong, because I've still... Oh, no, I can't. I've used... There's a knock on the window again. Tanner's there. I gotta this get damn him. Power breaker. Are you literally kidding me? In the file room I, that is such a bad mechanic. I've lost the game, guys. He's going to appear down here. That's such a bad mechanic. It makes well. no sense. I literally pressed the button twice and it cut out. That's unpredictable. Tanner's bull crap. Your breath stinks. For a dentist, your teeth look like crap because they're fake. I gotta do that all again. I heard a footstep. I definitely just heard a footstep in my apartment. Oh no, I'm really worried now. I gotta back out. I gotta back out. There was a footstep in my apartment or something. Oh boy. Oh boy, I got a feeling when I check these doors, Tanner's gonna be peeking. Let's see. Okay, nothing there. Wait, I definitely heard a footstep unless something maybe hit my window? Huh, interesting. Do I flash him now? This damn power breaker. Is that the I impossible need to put the bit? In the file I'm the room closet. Okay, that camera is a load of crap. It's the worst thing I've ever seen. It does not work, and I know I'm dead the moment I go around that corner, which is really annoying. If I die again here, three times to the same camera, because it does not make sense. Check this out, guys. Watch this. We got the hat trick! Woo! Let's get it, man! We got the hat trick! Let me see, guys. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. You have to stop him there. I thought it, once he's in your yard, that's when you stop him. Now I get it. Thank goodness. No, I'm shredding it. I'm shredding it because I've got chances, guys. I know that was wrong, but I'm real close to finishing this up here, and I just wanted to get one out. So we've got Jacob as the last thing. Let me just check around the house. We're going to do one more sweep. Make sure the lights are on. I think Jacob might actually be innocent. Woo! Four out of five, though, man. This game's giving me a headache. Like, this is the last case, guys. The last one we solve. <sighs> This is getting my adrenaline going just a bit right now. This could be it. Okay, so we wait and we get him right there. Got him. All right, he turns back. So we've taken care of him. I finally get that. Guys, he's an innocent. We shred the paper. Look at this. Look at this. Look. This could be it. I'm holding out. Yeah, Adam. What the f I can't speak. I'm actually frustrated. Like I'm genuinely frustrated, guys. Uh, is this game just non-canon? I don't get it. Is this a mini game? This doesn't make sense. What? Now, I already know the problem deep down, guys. So what Adam is basically trying to encourage the player to do is now go back through the game on normal mode. He thinks that that is casual mode. Now, seriously, Adam, I don't get how your brain works if you think that's casual mode. That's kind of ridiculous. Second of all, I'm being honest. I've put like 20 hours into this game. I feel like you're mocking my ability to play a game. I tried my absolute hardest for that, bro, and I got that screen. Are you 
kidding? You know what would have been extra nice to see right there? It didn't have to be like a literal middle finger to the person playing and putting all that dedication into just beating the game on casual mode. I feel like what would have been nice is like uh, maybe just a small screen that said like you did not solve the case. That would have been much more effective and much more satisfying. I'm gonna sit tight to the end of the credits. I expect something for my dedication. Press Q to quit. So when I press Q to quit, it's gonna... It closes the game down, guys. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I suspected something was gonna be up with casual mode. Even though for me, the average player, that was not a casual experience. That was very, very difficult. I just wanna say a little bit about the game itself, though. The game is really really good. It's actually a fantastic experience, but I think the problem and why it discourages people to even buy this game is that it's too difficult. I feel like casual should have been the normal mode because that was a very, very difficult experience. Casual implies that you will breeze through the experience. You might learn how to play and then you're ready for normal. Even though we got whatever that ending was, I, I really wish he didn't do that. I'm going to be real with you guys. I would have been happy with a JPEG image that said like, you got to retry and go for the ending on normal because you didn't have enough nights to figure out the ending. But Adam makes his games the way he wants to make his games and like I said at the start, I will check out normal mode if you guys do want to see it and maybe we'll try and tackle that thing. That was the ending of Scrutinize though guys. I really hope you did enjoy the experience. Um, It was a joy to play through. The first two episodes were so difficult but once I started to lock down those mechanics, I had a thrill of an experience. Incredible game, Adam. Uh, thank you for insulting me at the end by the way. I really appreciate that. <laughs> if you guys want to check out the game yourself, you can see the link down below. If you want to tackle normal and try and beat it before me, go ahead. But anyway guys, if you didn't enjoy this episode, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here. So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will, of course, see you on the next one. I'm dead, and I'm insulted, but I can't